Hey guys, thank you for joining me and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. We're gonna be talking about motors today, specifically the V4 Mr. Steel motors that just recently came out a month ago or so. Um, these are them right here. We'll go into more detail and I have some close up pictures so we can get that all out of the way here in a little bit when we're comparing the two motors because I'm gonna give you all different the specs and comparison between the V3 and the V4 for the people that have been asking me questions and I've been telling you I'm gonna make a video talking about the V4 motor and why it's different from the V3. Um, and we're also going to be talking about the V3 legacy motor later in the video, which is a V3 motor, lighter weight, upgraded slightly, and at a lower cost. So if you're interested in that, just stick around towards the later part of the video and we'll talk about that. Um, I am going to be giving you a lot of specs in this, so if you're not very spec oriented, then try to bear with me. But I'll give you some overall brief synopsis of what exactly is the difference between the V3 and the V4 throughout this video and you can understand what you, know, you what you may want for your particular needs. So first of all, the V3, when the V3 came out in 2019, this is the V3 right here. It's a 2306 stator size. It's got 19 by 19 um, mounting holes. It's got a 1.5 mil screw to replace bells if you need to take, take a bell out or swap a bearing out. It's got a steel shaft, hollow steel shaft, as you can see. And it has 0.4 thickness windings and the KVs varied from 2345 KV and 1750 KV. So on the V3, this black top with the white side was a 1750 KV. I call them the stouts, which, you know, for me is the 6S connotation. You can see that little stout emblem says right there. Um, and then we had a silk, which is a white variation of this motor. And it's literally just solid white. And that is the 4S version and it comes in a 2345 KV. It's a still a 2306, it's just a different KV. So same exact motors, V3, we have a, four, a 4S and a 6S. And so that motor came out in 2019 and it was very popular and has been very popular since the day that it came out and it's still, still, it still sells today. Um, I still use them on multiple quads. So there's a purpose for that motor and this is why I'll talk about the legacy motors later and why I thought it was important to keep that motor around is because it's such a staple as far as my flying style and the way that I use aircraft. So first of all, let's get into the V4 and I'll talk about the differences between the V4 and the V3. A lot of people are very familiar with the V3. I've done many videos on them, but I haven't done very many videos on the V4 because not only has it been out for a very short amount of time, but it's also just, I don't know, there's not that many specs unless you just go on the website and look and see exactly what the difference is. And even then you might not know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. So this is the V4 motor. And I'm gonna go ahead and say right now that when I came out with the V3, I was pretty scared that I wasn't going to be able to top it. Um, I genuinely love the V3 motor. I love the lightweight aspects of it. Uh, it did have some flaws as far as like being a little, a little um, not as durable as some motors out there. But overall, I was super happy with it. And ultimately at the end of the day, like you have to make a sacrifice between lightweight and durability. There is no substitute for having a thicker, beefier motor that's gonna be a little bit more durable, but you're also gonna sacrifice that weight. Sorry for this thing, it's hunting focus. All right, so this is the V4. And if you haven't noticed already, the bell is a mono bell style construction. There is no, um, there is no like separation between the sides here. Generally there is an aluminum top and then a steel side ring. And then, yeah, it's like two separate pieces. On this is one solid piece of aluminum. The stator um, iron is actually encased in this. Sorry, this thing is hunting all over the place. And then that is the main difference. So the bell is the main difference as far as the design. And this bell design, we were able to get more efficiency and more power. And how you do that without sacrificing something, what, what did we sacrifice? We actually sacrificed some weight. And I'll get to that in a little bit because we're going to talk about the different weights between the V3 and the V4. And I can just tell you right now, honestly, these are 32 grams roughly. Um, per motor with fully extended um, wires here. If you cut off some wires, you know, that much wire is going to save you two grams. So just know that. Uh, I generally gauge the V3 weights when you see 28 grams, that's with about a quarter inch or sorry, one inch cut off the wires because that is generally how you uh, would fly. This is just extra wire and it, you, you don't ever cut. You don't ever uh, add that into your weight just because it's always cut off because most five inch quads don't use that much wire. So these are 32 grams as they sit with this full amount of wire. And so I would say, you know, with the wire cut, it's about 30 grams. And the V3 is the same exact thing. These were 28 grams with 
the wire cut and they're 30 grams as they sit right here with the full length of wire. So again, you're talking about a two gram difference, but you're also talking about more, more uh, efficiency and more power versus the V3. So what was the main difference other than the, the bell design change? So there's also a stator design change. The bottom is 2307, or sorry, 2306 still. That's my favorite stator size. Um, you can tell that the screw is now uh, like a plated, a plated steel instead of that uh, black kind of bare raw metal before on the V3. And then you also notice that the base of the motor is now 16 by 16, which is something that I had people complaining about because the old motors were 19 by 19. And that was it. And some some frames only offered 16 by 16 mounting holes, and the V4s are now 16 by 16 only. So, you know, at first I was a little reluctant to do that, but I felt that it was a, a need to do that for weight savings, and also there was no added benefit of doing the 19 by 19. Um, also, with that base change, we ended up changing the pants as well. So this motor does come with pants. Um, I'll show you all of this stuff in some detailed pictures here in a little bit. I'm just trying to show you as I talk about it because, you know, when I'm touching it and holding it in my hand, you can see it a little easier sometimes if the focus happens. So anyways, these pants, how they are revised is these larger pants, they add about two grams, which again is not that much weight overall, but it adds a lot of protection. The V4 motor has a lot more protection than the V3, so we added about... 30% more of this. So this actually comes to 30% more. Sorry, I, it does not like me poking around and feeling around. It goes 30% bigger than the old one. Um, and then the, the bottom, the smaller pants, you can rock this thing naked like this with nothing on it. Or you can, you know, put these pants on there. These all just slip on. They're made of plastic. Here's the low profile pants. And there's a little bit of extra space now because there were people complaining about there was not enough um, gap on the bottom. And sometimes when they crash, things would bend and it wouldn't, you know, it would be a little in the way and they'd have to break the plastic, which is ultimately what the plastic was for. Because if it's metal down there, you would break it and it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be able to be bent. So it would, would not work anymore. And you'd have to take a screwdriver and it ultimately bend the motor or mess it up. So the plastic was there for like a breakaway and also to add some protection. So there's a little bit more gap now on the V4. And also there is a, the bait, the actual plastics are a lot thicker than the V1s. Um, I'll show you right here. I have the, the original V3 bases and you can see the difference. So, so that's the V1 or V3 base. And this is the V4. So it's a lot beefier and it's also 16 by 16. So you can kind of tell the difference between the two. This is the V4, this is the V3. And then when we're talking about the V4 versus V3 uh, large pants, this is the V4 and this is V3. You can see how thin this V3 is right here. Um, and in cold climates, you know, the plastics are a little bit more brittle and you can tell that the V4 one is a lot beefier and is gonna handle a lot more. And also, like I said, the front fascia on the V4 is substantially more protective than the V3. So those are the differences between the V4 and the V3. Overall, you're having more power, more efficiency, which, sorry, I keep bumping this. Um, ultimately, to give you like an idea of the difference, it's about six to seven percent more power and more efficiency it's pretty noticeable to be honest um as far as like flying characteristics like when i start first starting the flying the v4s i was a little hesitant uh and this is after probably 50 uh prototype iterations so like from the time that the v3s came out i always had a prototype quad of trying new motor designs to try to help you know myself understand what i was going to do to change to make the v4 and I would say literally 50 different iterations happened between 2019 and early 2021 when the V4 was finalized and put into production. So I was always trying to compensate, like, what am I going to change? And there was always some pitfall with one of the designs that we'd come up with. And ultimately, I either had to say, I need to accept that it's going to have to weigh a little bit more, but it's going to have more power and more efficiency and probably be a little bit more durable and smoother because the larger the motor the more mass it has generally the smoother it is 
Um, it's not always the case, but it's easier to balance when it has a little bit more mass. Um, it's also easier to not go out of balance when it has a little bit more mass. So these bells are substantially more uh, abuse friendly than the v3s so if you were you know curious about how how durable is this motor well you know it is aluminum and it is a pretty lightweight thing it will break if you hit concrete with it but ultimately over the course of abuse with these motors i have not bent a single v4 bell um yet and i've been flying these for six months or so now um, i've had a couple instances where escs have given me problems and that has burned a motor but I've never had like a physical damage problem with a V4 motor. Um, and we'll talk about the V4 special edition tumbled aluminum here in a second. I'll just go ahead and show you that before we start looking at pictures, because this is going to be something that is coming out. It's not currently out at the moment, but maybe by the time this video comes out, it will be out. And if not, it will be very shortly. But ultimately, this is a tumbled aluminum finish, which... I don't know if you can see, but it's raw. It's raw aluminum, and it's a super cool look. It's it, it looks so much better in person than it comes across on on camera. But again, a tumbled aluminum look, and this actually not only does it look cool, but you shave about half a gram off when you do this. So I'll talk about that later when we I'll show you the weights because I know you want to see like specific weights and some actual pictures rather than me just holding this stuff up in front of the camera. Um, and then we'll talk about the V three legacy so let me just show you this before we start looking at pictures this is the v3 legacy and i know it says stout on the side but this is the silk so the white is going to be silk and the uh, uh basically white is going to be for four or for 4s and black is going to be for uh for 6s now with the with these i know you see them in red this was a limited launch edition i forgot to mention that they do come in white and black and then these limited color runs like this red right here, which was the launch edition. We only did a, I think, I think we ended up overselling, but I think it was like close to 1500 red ones. Um, and then, yeah, we're not making any more of those. And then the uh, tumbled aluminum will be limited edition as well. But generically they come in white for 6S, which is the opposite of E3 um, and then black for 4S. So generally in the past, it's been black for 4S and what, or sorry, black for 6S and white for 4S, but on the V4s, I just wanted to fly white motors again. So black is 6S, which is the standard uh, for me. And then, sorry, white is 6S and black is 4S. It's very confusing. I'm sorry, I'm fumbling that. Uh, just look, stout is for 6S and silk is for 4S. Anyways, to confuse you even more, this is the legacy motor. Now the difference between the legacy motor and the regular V3 is literally the winding went from a 0.4 winding uh, thickness to a 0.43 and then we did this shaving of the paint here um, this is a raw tumbled aluminum look again the base is raw tumbled aluminum as well and the top is raw tumbled aluminum and what that does is it shaves about 0.3 grams on this particular motor which already was a light motor so now you're pushing in the 27.5 gram roughly uh, weight motors so let's go ahead and look at some pictures and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about these different weights because I did have to take some uh, measurements because I wanted to show you exactly the differences between all of these motors. So when you get a V4, this is basically what it's going to look like. Um, these are V4 boxes. We also went with a more eco-friendly box. Like this is completely 100% recyclable plastic. And then we have no more plastic bags at all in the boxes at all. The only plastic components are the uh, actual pants and then obviously these are the two colors they're the limited edition colors the one on the right is the red launch edition and the one on the left is the um is the new tumbled edition that's coming out and this is a prototype so you know the final production one this the s in steel is not going to look like that it'll be actually done properly but again like super prototype stuff and um yeah i just am stoked to try to make things in this hobby a little bit more eco-friendly because obviously if you got anything from anybody you usually have way too much packaging and i'm not a fan of that so this is the v4 motor better boxes you know a little bit more eco-friendly and more sustainable so here are v4s with the pants on them this on the right is the lower profile pant and the one on the left is the bigger pants which obviously add some kind of side protection 
So here's the V4 naked. Like I said earlier, with the longer wires, you are gonna be at the most maximum weight that this, this thing can be. When you cut off the normal amount, which is about an inch to an inch and a half of wire, you're gonna be about two grams lighter. So we say this motor is about 30 grams. This is like fully right out of the box. It's 32.4, okay? So then here is the tumbled aluminum version. So you're saving almost, oh, well, it's not quite a gram, but it's almost a gram just by doing that tumbled aluminum. So that's kind of cool when you get to see the difference between the weights on these two motors. Now, we're gonna to go to the red motor, which is like the standard, and I just wanted to show you what it is with all of the things on it. So this is the biggest, heaviest configuration you'll be able to get full wires and the biggest pants, it's 34.4 grams. And then with the lower profile pants, it's 33.5. And then obviously, again, naked, it's 32.4, but you can take two grams off of that by shaving some wire, like I said. So if you wanna just equate those numbers to this, you know, you're talking one gram for the low profile, so you're at 32.8, and then you're talking about roughly two grams for the bigger, beefier stuff on the side, um, and that's going to give you up to around 33.8. So now, let's go back to the V3 Legacy, like I said. So this is the V3. I gave you some comparisons so that you'd have an idea of what we're talking about when I say the V3 versus this Legacy motor. So this is the standard V3, and again, we can compare it to the V4 in its naked configuration so you can see the difference. So V3 is 30.7 grams with full wires, like I said, and then V4 is 32.4 grams, full wires. So you're adding about a gram and a half, roughly, um, close to two grams. But again, like I had to make some sacrifices if we were going to increase power and efficiency and durability. So, you know, here's the V3. And if we're gonna say the legacy, this is the same exact motor it's just in that legacy configuration. So it has thicker windings, so technically it should weigh more, but because we did away with the paint here and did this raw finish, it actually gives you you know, a little bit lighter of a weight, a motor, so 0.3 grams lighter. Um, I know people are gonna ask, is that going to like patina or do anything weird because it's raw aluminum? Uh, so far, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. I mean, maybe if you fly these things for years and years and years and just leave them out by the ocean, then they might patina, but honestly, it looks cool and it's already kind of patinaed. And if you've ever dealt with tumbled aluminum, which is most industrial uh, aluminum components, it works out pretty well and you don't have any issues. So again, that is the V3 Legacy motor, which is coming out very shortly. And I wanted to show you guys like the V3 motors with the pants on them. So you have a reference of what we're talking about and weight differences. So this is the full pants, um, full big size pants. And this is the 32.5 grams. And then the low profile is 31.5. So again, you're not talking about a big difference and the v3 motors obviously still are going to come in uh like we're trying to do away with the this green box because it is not as eco-friendly as the new box so the legacies should be coming in that uh newer box which is the one like the v4 this box um we're going to try to do all of our motors in this style box and no plastics whatsoever so we don't have any issues with sustainability so here's a larger picture of the v3 legacy again tumbled aluminum finish Super cool motor, really stoked to see what people think about it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the prices. So V3 Legacy is gonna start at $24.95. So that's gonna be a lot cheaper than the V3 motor that was almost $28, all said and done. And then, you know, V4, these special editions are $29.95 and the regulars are $28.95. And, you know, I'm trying to keep things cheap, but obviously with inflation and the whole COVID situation, um, <laughs> things got kind of real and it um, has made life difficult for a lot of people and obviously in production with delays and everything that I'm sure you're aware of is happening. Obviously we're trying to keep it affordable and also keep the products rolling out and everything on time and obviously just keep, keep doing cool stuff. So that is the V4 Mr. Steel motor. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put it in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this video again, as I said earlier, and I'll see you in the next one. You guys have a great weekend.